Well, I want to continue on in this session. My focus in the next couple of minutes will be talking about the fundamental technology, GIS, and how it's interconnecting and geo-enabling various parts of transportation organizations. It interconnects people, we know that. It interconnects different aspects of the organization and the public. It interconnects information types, whether it be road management data or uh, community data of various types. And it also is a kind of backbone for the digital infrastructure that's emerging, kind of complementing the physical infrastructure, which all of you are chartered with maintaining. Geographic science is the science of our world. And the big idea here is to bring that science into the kind of operational uh, functions and management of organizations. In this sense, it provides a framework and a process from measuring data and managing it to visualizing it in the form of maps or 3D visualizations and dashboards to actually more serious work in the form of analytics, modeling, predicting. Looking at planning and design is another major step in virtually all of your um, activities. And then, of course, making decisions and actions. One of my best friends often uh, talks about this in terms of understanding. He says to me, Jack, you're in the understanding business, and understanding precedes action. So this process is, is, uh, is intriguing because it really is the framework. GIS is a kind of framework for applying geographic knowledge, whether it be the environment or demographics, to the whole world of, of creating a more sustainable network of transportation systems. GIS organizes geographic knowledge, that is the data part. It analyzes the, how we describe the data in models. It analyzes the models for making forecasts and, and doing analytics. It is a foundation for map knowledge, the way that we understand things, and reports and workflows. It's really about digital transforming these sorts of activities, which are prolific in every one of your organizations, into a kind of platform for uh, more effective or more intelligent or smarter action. Building blocks, you might say, for creating digital, uh, digital transformation. The applications are well known and they've been well applied across all of your organizations for decades from planning to engineering design to workflow, work management to activities to looking after the environment and now especially in the area of community engagement, something that we've heard about and we'll, I'll talk about very briefly. They're really helping us understand and manage the whole transportation world. Now behind this workflow and this idea is really an information system and it's a complete information platform for modeling all aspects of geographic knowledge. And it's be increasingly becoming real time and 3D and, and accessible from devices, whether it's cell phones or in big dashboards. It's a kind of digital twin of your operations. GIS has three fundamental kinds of things that it supports. The most fundamental and one that I'm sure all of you are familiar with is the system of record keeping. This is when you build a road or build a, a facility, you do a transaction on the database like you do with financial data. And that's really prolific in the whole world of geography. A second one is analytics, being able to have insights into the information by combining data, seeing patterns and relationships, and creating that understanding. The third one, which has been the topic of this whole session, has been systems of engagement. And this is really where you, as an organization, can use apps and maps to connect with people, tell stories, engage them, and all of this is becoming increasingly real time as we wire up the networks of transportation and see, uh, see them in real time. Now, this is a bit technical for some of you, but I want to take a moment and explain it. GIS is becoming for organizations what I would call infrastructure. It's not only these systems of engagement in enterprise servers, these are big machines that keep all the data, but it's also used for analytics and desktops there are just thousands, actually there's millions of people that use the desktops to access this data and do analytics. And then it supports this whole world of apps, like web apps, field apps, uh, mobile apps, which engage people and let them understand the system of record and also understand the analytics in real time. 
Now this system has gone to the web with the cloud and it's connecting different types of information and bringing them together dynamically. Actually, all kinds of data can now be directly accessed and visualized inside of a GIS with web maps and 3D visualizations. Structured data like in big databases or just tabular data and 3D data and LIDAR data and IoT data, it's all brought together uh, from different formats and instead of putting it all into a big mainframe computer, we can actually leave the data right where it is from the organization or externally and bring it in dynamically to support operations. And these operations include just publishing maps, like real-time maps on, on highways, as we've heard from Maryland and others, uh, or the coronavirus map, which has been looked at several trillion times, is basically built from this geospatial infrastructure, bringing data together and allowing the whole world to be able to see what's going on with this horrible virus. And now it's telling the stories associated with vaccines and so on. GIS is increasingly empowering field operations with these apps. From the office, manage our field workers, and the field workers can collect data and put it back into the database directly in literally real time so we can see everything going on. And they can be tracked so that they can, we can understand it from a safety perspective and productivity perspective. This is a big jump in GIS. It's not just your old man's GIS on a mainframe computer. It's really connecting every aspect of organizations. And it's also improving collaboration. This new infrastructure pattern is built on web services. So I can bring in the data from another operation and integrate it dynamically within my organization and then mash the data up and then republish it out. It's like almost magic. And this is enabled by the internet uh, and the interconnection of different computers. Big agencies like the Census Bureau used it extensively in recent times with the doing the census, but also in planning and in operations management like the diagram in the upper left suggests. This is transforming organizations. And the big topic of course today has been this idea of systems of engagement where we can make available information transparently showing and engaging people and getting their feedback back through apps and maps. This empowers and engages these citizens so they can not only voice their opinion, but they can be like volunteers to help agencies do a better job uh, around common interests. Geospatial infrastructure, I would assert, is empowering all types and all aspects of, of infrastructure management and all aspects of DOT management and transportation management, from safety to asset management to, to planning, of course, and then the construction and design and engineering. And this, again, very important aspect about public communications and engagement. So ladies and gentlemen, this infrastructure vision is literally transforming organizations, not just transportation organizations, but organizations of all types. It's integrating and leveraging technologies of all types, cloud computing, advanced spatial analysis, in the cloud or elsewhere, real-time data, the introduction of geo-AI and machine learning is helping us be smarter. And the world of apps is making the GIS spread and connect everybody in organizations. This is smarter. This makes, this makes your business smarter and more effective and more responsible. The big story, of course, has been GIS is becoming a powerful force. It has always been a force inside of DOTs. In fact, over 50 years ago, it started there with transportation modeling, spatial thinking. But now, it's becoming, through various technical innovations, more effective in understanding the complexity of transportation. It's helping us organize our work and improve our communication. It's helping us take on this responsibility of holistic solutions, not just stovepipe solutions. And you, especially as leaders and managers and executives in this field, are, are really um, well, I'm excited about sharing all of this with you because I know that you're going to be the ones who really take this the next step. So thank you again for joining this particular session. It's been my great pleasure to be with you this short amount of time. Thank you.